video. Today I'm decorating for spring and I am really excited to add a few touches to make our spaces look and feel more bright and airy for the spring season. So I hope that you guys get some spring decorating ideas today and enjoy. Today I'm decorating our main living space downstairs which is our kitchen, living room and dining table area. I'm bringing in some fresh flowers and using lots of textures, florals and lighter colors to make everything look brighter and just feel like spring. I'm starting off here on the couch and adding some pillows which most of these I've had for a while. I'm using some floral patterns, lots of textured pillows and linen. I still want it to feel cozy especially here on the couch but I also want to give it more of that airy spring look with those lighter colors. I'm gonna keep most of the decor on this side table the same and just switch out that paper mache bowl for a wooden bowl and some moss balls. The moss balls are definitely a staple for spring and summer decor and I love that I was able just to switch out something simple and give it more of a spring look. One thing I know is that there should be There is no one who has a heart as pure No, not like yours Same thing for the coffee table decor. I'm just going to remove this space with the eucalyptus and add in this pot from Target which I really love and I'm going to put these faux cosmos in here and I think this is the perfect look for spring. so excited to add this new accent chair that I got from Target recently. I love it so much. It has such a pretty light brown color and velvet material. I really like the shape of it and it's actually really comfortable. It's definitely the little update that I needed for this space. And I'm going to style this blanket on it, but the blanket just ends up on the couch because my doggy loves being on there. So I like to put a blanket under him. But for now, I'm just going to style it here. But even without the blanket, this chair is really beautiful. And for this side table, I'm just going to remove those stems and that wooden bowl and add in some faux flowers and a rattan box with some coasters just to add more texture and give more of a spring look. I'm going to add some spring touches to the kitchen, but first I'm going to wipe it down with this new Mrs. Myers cleaning spray. This is in the scent Compassion Flower. I think it's new for spring and it smells really good, really fresh and light. And a sparkly shimmer on our skin.
I'm keeping this little corner of the kitchen the same which I love because it's very functional decor I'm just adding some more lentils to the jar but just keeping it as is and for the rest of the kitchen I'm not replacing all of the decor I'm just either removing something and then adding a spring touch like here on the cutting board I'm adding this one which I feel gives a very pretty texture and spring look and then I'm also adding these spoons which look like something you would find at anthropology but I got them from home goods and then this spoon rest actually is from anthropology a few years ago a bigger scale the world in I'm just switching out the fruit bowls here because I am going to use the rattan one inside the cabinet by the dining table. And then I'm also going to add a really pretty glass honey jar and just set it on top of this dish towel. And I really love this look. I think it is perfect for spring. switching out the greenery and the salt and pepper shakers for a brighter look with these yellow dried flowers and some marble salt and pepper shakers just to make this space look lighter and airy hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun I always have a wreath on my pantry door and I really love this one because it's very season neutral so I usually have it out during the spring and summer months. On my kitchen island, I'm using this wooden board with these really pretty leather handles to anchor my decor pieces. I'm starting off with this really pretty distressed vase from Hobby Lobby and some faux florals in a very neutral color. And then I'm going to set a wooden bowl with some faux artichokes, which I use these very often in my decor. I think they're perfect to style in your kitchen or on your dining table and they're perfect for any season. And adding a pretty spring pop of color with this green riser to set a candle, soap, and little scrubber on. Moving on to this cabinet by the dining table, I'm keeping most of the decor here the same. I'm just going to add in that rattan bowl that was in the kitchen and then add a few new pieces to the shelves. May you always find your way to higher ground. May you always keep your head held up high. 
I love the look of this age terracotta bowl. I got it from Amber Interiors on sale recently. I think it adds a very pretty spring touch as well as this watering can which is from Target last year. I think it also has a really pretty spring look. I'm going to put these really pretty fresh flowers in a vase and set them on my dining table. I got them from Trader Joe's and I love that pop of color that they're going to give to the space. I always love adding fresh flowers to our home but I think especially for spring it adds such a beautiful touch for the season and it's just really pretty to style in your spaces. You're the first thing in the morning and the last Baby, you're my future and you are my past Pretty little I'm adding this woven tray to the dining table to add more texture to this space and then just setting the fresh flowers on it. Order in a cup of love Feel it rising up and above. You will always I'm also going to add this carafe with some water to the tray, which looks really pretty styled, but then is a functional just to quickly add some water when the flowers need it. And this is from McGee & Co. and it's on sale, so I will link it below. The last thing I'm decorating today is this bar cart that I use and style as a coffee station. If you have a small space in your kitchen, having something like this is such a great option. I set my mugs here and my K-cups and then I'm able to style the rest with decor. I really love the combination of the whites and wood tones with some texture from those cups and dish towels and I think it looks very bright and airy for spring. Really loving the light and airy feel of this space for spring. We are waiting for a new chandelier and new curtains for this room. But so far, really loving that new accent chair. And I'm excited for all of the updates to this living room. And I have a few more spring decorating videos to come. So make sure that you are subscribed. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you get notified when I post my next decorating video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on my next one.